know, your reaction, you, you were preparing all week, but your reaction to getting the start with Russell, they said, even though it's a clear protocol, he will play Yeah, not, not exciting that Russell, you know, is obviously injured and, you know, recovering, but, um, you know, I know he's doing, he's doing better, and um, I'm just excited for the opportunity. I'm always excited when you get to play. Um, you know, such a blessing to be in this position, and, uh, you know, going out and my only focus is to try to get a win on Sunday. When you, you got the, the full game against the Jets and a, a couple series, obviously, last week, what, yeah. what do you want to take from those two and then carry over to, to Sunday? Yeah, well, um, the Jets game, you know, we just got to got to be better in the red zone, I think. Um, you know, we had some opportunities, I thought, to put up some more points. Give, I thought we had a chance to win that game and ultimately came up short. And then last week, you know, kind of a crazy scenario coming in there. So, um, you know, for me, it's just trying to take it one play at a time, keeping a small focus and doing, doing what I do best. You and Jerry have made substantial plays in both of your previous starts, and then you had, you had the touchdown last week. Why do you think, like, you and Jerry have been able to kind of build – a cohesion that seems to go beyond just a couple of starts and another game working together. Yeah, um, you know, Jerry's been here for three years now. So when he was a rookie, I remember we were able to get a, a lot of reps together um, during that training camp during COVID. And, um, you know, just a guy that I've always trusted. I think he's, you know, one heck of a player. Um, he does a great job in man coverage, getting open. He's got He's very trustworthy. You know, my first touchdown pass I ever threw was the first one that he caught and went over a guy to catch the thing. So um, I think that builds a rapport right there when you see a guy can do that and go make a play for you. So um, I just want to continue to build on that. Congressions have been a hot button issue since Tua uh, earlier in the year. Uh, what does it say about the organization to prioritize Russ's health even when he did clear concussion protocol? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we want to take care of him. Um, you know, that's that's your franchise quarterback. Um, that's a guy that everybody really cares about in this building. And, you know, like I said last week, you know, he's out there and laying his body on the line when, you know, we're virtually eliminated from the playoffs. And, um, you know, just uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a great decision by the organization. And I know, I know Russ probably doesn't like it. You know, he wants to be out there, um, you know, whenever he can. But, um, you know, you gotta you gotta think safety first, and uh, ultimately we're doing that. Can you take us through your week of uncertainty, certainty? Um, just observing Russ, did you think he was going to play early in the week, and when did you actually yeah, figure out um, that it was going to be you? Yeah, I, th I think I just tried to approach it like I was going to play, um, just because I know what, what the protocol is, um, I know what it entails, so I knew he wasn't going to be back till at least today, um, because it's a long process. So. Um, you know, I went about it like I was going to play like I do every week. And, um, you know, ultimately I'm getting a chance. So excited about it. Brett, you can't control what happens with Russ or how the team handles it. But does a competitor in you, were you looking forward to the chance to maybe get the bad taste out of your mouth from the Jets game and not being able to get over the hump of the other day? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously you want to be, be out there whenever you can. Um, and. We need to win desperately right now. Um, thought we, we needed one last week, and like you said, we came up short. So, um, you know, from my standpoint, got to focus, keep a small focus, keep a day by day focus. I know that's kind of a cliche, but um, it's so true in this league. You, you never really know what's going to happen. So, I'm um, just trying to stay in the moment, uh, take it one play at a time, and see what happens on Sunday. When did you find out, and how did you find out? <laughs> Um, I kind of find out, found out officially today. You know, when they when they said he cleared concussion protocol and. Um, you know, they said they were going to hold him out. So, what can you tell us on Jarrett Garantano? Yeah, he's been uh, great ever since he got here. You know, he comes in early. He's, he's studying as hard as he can. I don't think this is uh, an easy playbook to pick up. You know, there's a lot of intricacies and um, you know plays off of plays. Like if you have one play called, it could turn into a different play depending on the look. So, um, you know, he's he's probably got a little bit of information overload right now, but. You know, you got 48 hours left to uh, to study as hard as you can, and I know he will. If you were in Russ's shoes, you had that playing time against Tampa early, and then the start against the Jets. And then it's been a stretch here. Do you cherish this a little bit more, just knowing that these don't come around? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, like I said at the start, you know, it's anytime you get an opportunity um, to play, you know, it's a blessing. And I've been here, you know, four years now, where. And, you know, I played four years in high school and four years in college. So I was used to playing every single week. So um, it feels more special for sure when you get an opportunity. 
if you were in Russ, if you were in Russ's shoes and you passed the protocol, but then we're told we're going to wait another week on you, how do you think you'd react to that personally? I don't know, man. I think you'd have to ask Russ that. I mean, if I was in that situation, I'm not really sure how I would react. So, um, yeah, you'd have to ask him. I guess I haven't scored as many many points as you want this year. How is the offense different from from week seven? I mean, do you feel like even though it's, you're on a skid here that that there's been some tweaks and changes along the way? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you got some new faces in there. Um, you know, court being out, we got some different receivers playing. We got different running backs playing. Um, different old linemen playing. So we got guys in different positions. Jerry's playing X now, uh, which has been exciting to you know kind of watch him operate from the outside uh, the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I mean, just guys in different positions, I would say is the main thing. Schematically, we're not doing anything crazy different. You know, we just got to we gotta go execute. But what about with uh, Clint calling plays now for the last few weeks? And you obviously have a front row seat to that. Can you mm -hmm. feel anything different there? Yeah, I mean, I think Clint's, uh, you know, done a great job. And I think having eyes up in the box is, um, you know, I've always felt as a play caller might help a little bit more. And, um, you know, I thought Coach Kubi or uh, <clears throat> Coach Hackett did a great job as well. But, you know, ultimately he's probably got a lot on his plate and he decided to make a change. I thought that was a very unselfish move by him. And uh, Coop stepped up and did a lot of good things. Okay. Thank you, Brett. Thanks, Thank Brett. you, Brett. Brett.